So welcome to the fourth video in the IAS web server series. In this video we're going to be looking at installing phpMyAdmin. Now before I start I just want to say I did explain it briefly in the end of the previous tutorial. Although since doing that I've decided that I'm going to actually do a proper video on it. Because it would just help with confusion and stuff. And I might as well do an actual video on it. Um, it's really easy to install. That's why I only explained it briefly last time. But I am going to be showing you how to do it. Also another thing I am on Windows 7 now so... Um, I had to downgrade because of an issue with my SSD and hard drive and everything. Um, but everything is identical, so there's no need to worry about that. I've checked and everything is identical. I didn't find any differences. So what you want to do is head over to phpmyadmin.net and just hit the download one to download the latest one. It will take you to SourceForge, where you just got to wait for it to download. Just got to wait a couple of seconds. Uh, one there we go just open that up and let's open up here and these are all the files that we need to copy over to our web server so what I'm going to do is just copy this and then we're going to go from we're going to go to our IAS manager and open the default site and just right click on it and explore now I already have PHP my admin I will just delete it to show you how to do it uh, so what you want to do is just paste that folder in here and you'll need to pro provide administrator permission because it's in the uh, INET pub directory and for some reason you need administrator for that. Don't ask why. If you press continue, you might need to put your password in. And you've got to wait for that to transfer over. Uh, it won't take too long, you're just transferring a, fi uh, a folder and extracting it. I'll just skip through this. Right, okay, that's done. Uh, now we've got this PHP my admin folder with all of this uh, stuff in. Now we're going to do is rename it to PHP my admin, just like that. And now we can actually close this. Uh, we'll just minimize that, and close that. By the way, if you hear my fan spinning up, uh, it's very hot right now, so I have to have this quite high. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to head over to localhost and just put forward slash PHP my admin. And there's PHP my admin. So now what you need to do from here is the username, which is by default root, and the password, I'm just gonna copy that over. And we're in. So we are into the PHP my admin. Um, so the username will be root and the password will be whatever you set it to before. Um, so from PHP my admin, we can set up our databases, everything is all set up now, so we can create a new database, so my DB or whatever. And from here we can go and create a table, for, for example users and six columns. And then we can create our columns. For some reason these are all just DSG and DSF, and but those are just examples. We can also execute SQL statements here, um, but we have no tables in it or anything. Um, you know, you can insert data into your tables from here, Import, you can import databases, export databases, you can do pretty much everything, um, rather than doing it through the command line. So that's PHP my admin, uh, it really easy to set up, so thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.